Hello my friends, welcome, welcome to the kitchen. Good occasion for me to remind you that uh, I have an exceptional series about the kitchen's organization that I had the pleasure to do with my wife. And today we are here for repairing this plug which is moving. This is a quite common problem. You may be surprised why these uh, paper uh, tissues are unrolled. This is just because my cat Bianca, quite famous, speaking all official languages of the European Union, poured some water on it, uh, uh, trying to drink from uh, the vase. Instead of uh, throwing it away, we're just living like this so that it's drying and it's working perfectly well. So let's go. The demonstration here will take place in a uh, hard wall, meaning directly a case where the brick has been uh, encastrated into the wall uh, with a hole in the brick, so to say. In case you have partition walls, uh, it will be uh, very likely to have a material which is like this in which there is simply a hole uh, made inside. So this will be a hole either in uh, wood boards or in plaster boards. Uh, so this depends on the way that the, the partition wall is made. And for this uh, you will need this uh, cavity box. Um, and this can be also useful in case the hole in the wall is not holding. The plug uh, cannot really grip. Uh, so you may also use uh, this uh, cavity box also for full walls. I invite you to discover this in a separate video. The first thing to do is to make sure that you don't have any power in the wires of this plug. For this the safest way is to cut the whole electricity of the house. Here today it wouldn't be a good idea because uh, my children or my wife uh, certainly are now working on their computer or on the internet, so they wouldn't be so happy in case I'm cutting the whole electricity in the house. In the video that you've already seen about how to find the right electrical circuit in case of works, for plugs I recommend the radio method. Today I don't have any radio around, so for this reason I will take a lamp. I'm switching on the light. And now I know that there's power in this plug. As I had already the opportunity to say, careful about the inscription which are on the electricity board because sometimes they are not correct. And here it's a question of safety. So this is why I'm using this uh, method with a lamp. So probably the right one should be this one because it says light for kitchen and for toilets. So let's see if it works. Now I have the certainty that there is no electricity in this plug, so I will be able to touch all the wires without any danger. So first of all we have to remove the cache. And the second thing we have to do is to free the screws holding the plug. There are fixing clamps in the back. Here there's some plaster on the way. Now I can remove the full block. Here there are lots of cables, as you can see, which means that uh, there had been plenty of connections, indeed three connections. Uh, you can see here the phase, you can see the neutral, three wires each time, as well as the three uh, uh, wires for the earth. So now I'm putting this back, just taking this opportunity for making sure everything is well closed, which is the case. You see here, 
behind. These are the things which are holding, which are holding the plug. So now I'm pushing this really strongly inside. And then I'm closing the holders. Here, as it's very hard, it's important to take a big screwdriver which is fitting to the size of this screw. Okay. Okay, now it will it won't move anymore. Now this is really totally well inserted into the wall. For putting the the hiding thing will be helped by this hole because we, we can put the hole here uh, on the earth and this gives us the reference for closing the screw beneath. Now the works are finished, I can switch on the circuit breaker again. So now everything is perfectly fixed, it's holding well. And uh, please notice that I did all these little works with the basic toolbox. So all good now. That's it my friends, I hope that this video will help you for your own repairs of your plugs. A good occasion for me to remind you that I have a very complete series about electricity. And if you're a little bit curious, I can invite you now to have a look at my video about how a house or a flat is wired uh, with uh, electricity. So see you in a second on Happy Hour TV One.